onus is on the government to beat the deadlines, especially before the country is fully engulfed in the campaign season. Dr. Masikori, KTN News. And that's a story we'll continue to follow for you, bringing you all the updates here on KTN News. Let's now go to the G7 summit in Italy, where Kenyan President Uhuru Kenyatta today asked the group of seven most industrialized countries in the world to enhance its collaboration with Africa to address global challenges, including poverty, immigration, climate change, and terrorism. He was addressing the Africa Outreach Session at the G7 summit, where he spoke on the opportunities and challenges brought about by innovation and development in the African continent. After the session, Uhuru explained that what Africa and especially Kenya was keen about was partnership and not dependency on the developed world. The German Chancellor Angela Merkel invited Kenya and selected African countries to the G20 summit to be held in Berlin in June to discuss partnership with African countries. Okay. <laughs> And I really focused on the uh, key issue, which was the opportunities, especially the opportunities that derive from innovation and the progress and steps that we have made in innovation, the progress and steps that we are making, especially with regard to engaging the young people in Kenya and on the African continent and the possibilities that the internet and mobile telephony has